Hey friends, this is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. So happy to see you guys. Um, please excuse me. I just did a personal reading, so I'm shuffling the cards to get set because I am about to do a Twin Flame reading. I am going to do it in the same format that I did last week um, in that we're doing, we're doing a combined reading, both feminine and masculine energies in one reading. Um, and this is in an effort for us to work on balancing our masculine and feminine energies within us. Yes. I, all of us, all of us want to come into union. God wants us to come into union. That is what is intended. But we cannot come into this union until we are whole and balanced within ourselves. And that includes balancing our masculine and feminine energies. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So as the messages come through, please look at it from a perspective of not just what's going on with your twin, but what's going on with your own feminine masculine energies within you, okay? A little bit of shop talk. Um, I am available for personal readings, um, and I am available on Instant Go. If you would like to message me for that, um, please go ahead and do so. The link to my Instant Go um, profile is in the description box below, as well as um, my email address if you'd like a personal reading with me, okay? Um, check it out, y'all. This is probably going to be a little bit of a long video, all right? We have a lot to talk about. There's a lot that I want to talk about with you guys. There's a lot going on within my life, within my journey, that I want to share with you to a certain extent because I want to give many of you that are having a, um, having a hard time with detachment, I want to give you guys um, a frame of reference. I want to be a, a, a way for you guys to look at yourselves while, or face yourself through me, okay? In spiritual truth, we are all one. I see it as, you know, we're just this just one big mass of energy that is split into millions and billions of different personalities, okay? So it's, it's really helpful if, for people to share their stories so that, you know, we can connect with each other, but also we can see how we're personally struggling with something. We've, it might illuminate something that we have been um, struggling to see for ourselves. So, detachment. It's a thing, y'all. <laughs> it is a thing. And I personally have been working on detachment like hard body. Um, and as I've been doing that, uh, a lot of the feelings, the emotions, the thought processes and all that stuff that I thought I had let go of, that I thought I had healed from, reared their ugly heads again. Um, because I didn't really, I mean, I didn't really, I didn't really heal it. I didn't deal with it that much. I didn't heal it. Um, I thought I had, but what actually happened was I was so wrapped up in attachment and wrapped up in the connection with my twin that I literally just pushed it to the side. I was like, oh, it's okay. And you know, like, I love him. It's fine. It's unconditional love. It's okay. And that's, that is kind of the caveat when we are dealing with unconditional love in the three dimensional realm. It, um, it becomes a deep lesson between what is, um, what, what's appropriate to accept and what isn't. Um, if you are, coming from a place of unconditional love where you're being a doormat, that is not unconditional love. If you are not um, able or you don't feel like you're able to express yourself, to talk about what you're truly feeling, to really put that out there without being accosted, and you are bottling all of this stuff, in, all of this stuff inside and you just can't and but you're but you're moving forward with this relationship with whoever they may be that's doing this and blah 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 for under the guise of unconditional love that is not unconditional love unconditional love is being able to look at someone and say yeah you hurt me you hurt me pretty bad um but i can forgive you and i will work on forgiving you i still love you very much but I need to put a barrier between us now. I need, not a barrier, excuse me. I need to set um, stronger boundaries between us now because um, you hurt me 
And in some cases, it's like, well, you've hurt me so much over and over again. And it's like, yeah, well, you did this, but I also have to take responsibility for that because I allowed you to hurt me so many times. It's a similar, it's a thing where it's like, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Like, nah. Now there needs to be a boundary. I love you very much. I wish you all the best, but I need to step away. And that's what this moment of detachment is facilitating for us. Divine feminines have been going through, have mostly all of their lives um, been facing the lesson of the balance between give and take. Um, giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and not getting anything back, but still giving and giving and giving because one day, oh, eventually they'll give back to me. Not unless you set that boundary. Not unless you show them that if they're not willing to step up to the plate and do what it is they need to do to be a part of the relationship, I mean, you gotta, at that point, if they're not willing to do that, you gotta say, okay, well then this relationship isn't gonna go any further. And they need to be faced with the fact that now you're gone out of their lives. You're no longer giving to them anymore. And they're like, oops, now what do I do? Well, I guess I better start giving back. Or they just don't come back. They let you go and you never see them again. You never hear from them again. And if that's the case, bye Felicia. You know what I mean? Like, let that shit go. Um, so with my situation... <sighs> I've been detaching and all of that other, st all of that stuff that I thought I had let go of, um, came back. And <laughs> when I'm hurt, when I'm angry, I can be very vicious, vindictive even sometimes. Um, and I went through a moment where I was, because I know my twin is resisting. He's putting up some heavy resistance right now. And that has a lot to do with the, the people around him. Um, the way he grew up, what he was taught when he was growing up, all that stuff, societal stuff, which we all deal with. And I get it. I totally get it. Um, and I don't hate him. I don't think he's a bad person. It's just right now, he, we are toxic to each other. We are. Um, so I've been faced with the fact that I'm still acting through a lot of codependency. I thought I had let all that go, but now it's going deeper and I'm seeing deeper in how how codependent I am, I still am in many cases. And, um, so that's number one. Number two, uh, with this whole resistance thing, <laughs> I, re I had a telepathic argument with my, with him in my head. Well, obviously it was telepathic, but, <laughs> but I said to him, I was like, yeah, yeah. You want resistance? I'll show you resistance. That's not so good guys. <laughs> That is not so good. Um, and yeah, and I was literally, and my team was saying to me, Eric, be careful. Don't, Eric, please don't do that. And it's like, nah, nah, nah. He wants to resist. I'll show y'all some freaking resistance. Like I'm a Taurus, you know, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm being, now I'm being stubborn. Um, and it was a detriment. It really got in the way of things. I mean, I'm trying not to be so flippant about this, but this is, this is what, this is what I'm experiencing, going through a detachment. I don't care anymore. Um, I don't. I don't care anymore. And, and it's a thing where it's like, I'm not, I don't want to be off the twin flame path, off the journey. Like, I, I have learned so much. I've grown so much through this journey. I have no intentions of stepping off the path. But what I do intend to do is just say, F it. You go do your thing. I'm going to be over here. I just don't want anything to do with this right now. Ooh, sorry. It's a mess back there. <laughs> um, I don't want to, I, I just, I, I don't want to associate with you. I don't want to know about you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear about you. Like, it, oh, this is the other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I had a dream. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> um, uh, what was it? It was Wednesday night. Um, and I went out to my favorite bar. I was hanging out with some friends. Um, actually, I was in the area, and so I just stopped by to have a drink and, like, hang out because my friend was a bartender that night, and so I would want to go chill with them. Um, and I ended up staying longer than I wanted to or than I had intended because um, I ended up eating, having dinner. And so this one trigger that has been coming up in my life recently associated with my twin was around that night. Now, before Wednesday night, this trigger was showing up and man, was it a trigger. Uh, last week I mentioned it, it, oh God, guys, like I thought I had healed from that. Nope, <laughs> nope. 
And so this, it had been affecting me and it was coming and the universe was bringing it forward so that I could realize it and so I could heal from it. And so finally, um, Wednesday night, that trigger showed up again and it was different this time. I was over it. I could face the situation and not be triggered by it anymore. I can look back on the situation and say, mm, whatever, you know? Um, and that was very, very, very significant for me. And so I went home and as I was going home, I real I had a moment where my intuition was like, a dream is coming. And I was like, uh oh, <laughs> okay. And I forgot about it. And then I went to sleep and I had a dream about my twin that I, and I hadn't dreamt about him in a while. Um, and what happened in the dream was he was being very, very critical of me. And now he's a Virgo. So that can, that's kind of par for the course a little bit, but it was, it was, it was in a malicious way. It was not anything that was like um, nurturing or compassionate, like trying, just trying to help. No, he was just, he was being an asshole and, and being critical of me. And eventually I, I, I looked at him and I said, what did I ever see in you? The, they're, they're, you're, you're vindictive, you're an asshole, and what was the other thing? Um, and you're mean. Yeah, you're, you're vindictive, you're mean, and you're an asshole. No, nothing, nothing, no healthy relationship can come of this. And he laughed a little bit and like started to walk away. And then, well, no, he didn't laugh at this point. I said that to him, and then he turned around and started to walk away, walk out of the house that we were in. Um, but then he turned back and started coming back towards me, and I screamed, no! healthy relationship can come of this. And that's when he chuckled, turned around and walked away. And I ended the dream with picking up all my clothes off the floor. And I remember realizing as I woke up that I was somewhat naked, either I was naked or I was just in my other underwear. Either way, it was a very significant element to the dream. Um, and that's when I realized I had gotten over it. I had gotten over a lot of the attachment, a lot of it. I'm not gonna say I got over all of it, but at that moment was when I was like, whoa, so this is what detachment feels like, <laughs> you know? And I did have a moment where I was kind of nervous about whether or not I had made the right decision in saying that to him, if I had overreacted, because I am a Leo moon, so I can be very dramatic. Um, but it wasn't. I spoke to a friend. Hi, Jen. <laughs> I spoke to a friend about it. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. I got to reply to your email. But, um... Uh, 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 and she was like, no, you didn't overreact. And what you said was true. I mean, if it's, if you're toxic to each other right now, no, there is no healthy relationship that could come of this. Um, and so this is kind of, this is what the universe is, we're helping us with when we're in this moment of detachment. Many of you may feel like you don't even want, you don't want them anymore. I know I do. I know I still love him very, very much, but the person he is right now is not the person that I want to be with is not his true self, is not the man that I know he is. Um, and so I don't want anything to do with that. I don't. Um, and I'm glad that I've come to that realization because in coming to that realization, I realized just how codependent and toxic I have been personally. Um, I, I've been attracting people who exhibit narcissistic tendencies like crazy. And, it's, and that is a common theme for the divine feminine right now. Um, I don't know much about that just yet, we can talk about that later. But yeah, detachment, guys. Get into it. Detachment is not the end. And don't feel bad. Don't hate yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you come to a point where it's like, no, I don't want to know you. Um, and, uh, and I'm sharing this so that you guys can get a different perspective on it. Um, and I know a lot of, there are a lot of readers and spiritual guides out there that are um, putting forward this lovey-dovey, um, all positivity, all high vibes uh, message. And I feel like that to a certain extent is a bit of a disservice to many of us, if not all of us, um, because we live in a world, in a situation where it's not all gum, gum balls and rainbows and roses all the time. It's not. You know, we have contrast here. We have duality here. And yes, you can work towards seeing past all of that. But while you're in 3D life, you are going to experience contrast, okay? You can work towards ascension, ascending, and, and balancing out 
and, and, and um, not really experiencing too much duality, you know what I mean? But as long as you're here, it's always going to be around. And there are always going to be moments where you'll drop back down into the lower vibes, into the lower vibrations and experience low vibrational energies and emotions. And that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. It is a dis I believe it is an extreme disservice to us as we move through this spiritual journey in the three-dimensional world to ignore or try and get us to ignore um, moments where we feel low vibrational energies or uh, emotions. All right. Um, but the, also the message there is if you once you do drop down into the lower vibes, number one, don't beat yourself up because you're still human. And number two, you can get yourself out of it. OK, you, you drop down there for a reason. So experience it, experience it with the intention of learning from it and releasing it, whatever the situation is that is creating this experience of low vibrational emotions and ex uh, experience it with the intentions of releasing it so that you can heal from it and you don't have to do it again. You don't have to learn that lesson again. You know what I mean? Um, so that's why I'm sharing this and that's why I'm saying to, why I'm saying to you how mean I got. Like I got really mean. Like I've been very angry and it was kind of concerning for a while because it's it went on for a few days and I know I don't I, I really don't want to be fighting with him I don't want to make things any harder for him than it already is because this is not I mean if it's not easy for me it's really not easy for him or any of the other divine masculines out there male or female like in most cases, the divine masculine is not as awakened as the divine feminine. So divine feminine, if you think this is hard, you don't even know what your twin is going through. And so that's why it concerned me because I didn't want to be, I didn't want to add fuel to his fire that he's been trying to douse. But I did. <laughs> I did. And uh, do I regret it? No, not really. I said to him at one point, I was in telepathically, I was like, Look, the reason why I'm, I'm being so resistant right now is because you need to know what this feels like. You, you want resistance? Well, you got some resistance from me, honey. And now you are going to have to pull yourself out of it. I'm not going to pull you out. I'm not going to help you pull out. I mean, I'll be here. I'll still be like, I'll still be the person that I am and I'll still, I'll still flow love to you, but you have to pull yourself out of this one now. <laughs> I just asked myself, was that really the right thing to do? And my, my team is screaming at me, yes, Eric, that was the right thing to do. Why? Because they need to pull themselves out, okay? We cannot, as divine feminines, we cannot stand there and constantly give them the lifeline when they fuck up over and over and over thinking, well, they'll just be there to help me. Not this time, boo-boo. No. Why? Because you need to learn the lesson for yourself, okay? I love you. I love all of you. But they need to learn the lessons for themselves. Just like we've been doing our work to learn our lessons for ourselves and to be better people for ourselves, to serve our higher good, and to serve the higher good of everyone else around us, they need to do the same thing, okay? They need to start taking up the torch now. The Divine Feminine has been the torchbearer, and uh, yo, Twin Flames, 5D to 3D, man, check him out. Because he and I are on the same wavelength, and he this, he said this, we he's been the torchbearer, and now his twin needs to be the torchbearer, period. They need to pick up the torch, they need to start doing the work, they need to start going through this spiritual awakening, if this is what they want. And it is what they want, they signed the contract, didn't they? The contract being the one we made before we came into this physical life. So do it. But they're never going to do it if we keep babying them. They're not. So yes, my team is saying, you, were, you made the right decision in saying that to him. You want resistance? You got it. And now you have to pull yourself out of it. There's one other thing I want to talk about. Um, soulmate relationships, karmic relationships. Many of the divine feminines are now considering moving on to a different relationship. And for the most part, I encourage that. Um, I know I am doing the same thing. Um, and this is not, this is not a vindictive thing. This is not, I'm not trying to get back at him for anything. Um, but the deal with that is I wish 
to receive the love back that I've been putting out. And the universe will conspire to give that to you if that is truly within your heart's desires. So, Divine Feminines, if you are considering moving on with a different relationship, I would say don't listen to anyone else but yourself, okay? Dig deep down into your heart and really listen to your intuition, okay? Really listen to what your heart desires. If you are being called to pursue, to pursue someone, to accept an offer someone gave you, if that is truly what your heart is saying to you, do it. If that is truly what your soul, your higher self is guiding you towards, go with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Please understand that we are meant to come into union in this lifetime if that is what is going on, if that is what we agreed upon, okay? So just because someone else may be coming to, into your life right now because you and your twin are in separation and they, your twin is really struggling with doing their work and it looks like it's going to be a lot longer than you would like and you do want to experience a loving relationship with someone and your higher self is calling you to do it, by all means, please do it. Do not allow anyone to tell you that that's wrong. There is no such thing as right or wrong, guys. That is just another element of duality, okay? There is no such thing as right or wrong, okay? So if you, if that is what you're being called to do by your higher self, by your heart, if that is what your team is leading you towards, please go for it. Do not be afraid. Now, on the other hand, if you are trying to get back at your twin, you're saying, well, fine, I'm going to go out with this person just to make you jealous. That is ego, boo-boo. That is ego, honey. You got to let that go. Don't do that. Do not. I mean, hey, hey, look, you know what? There's no such thing as right or wrong. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. There, I mean, you'll learn the lesson from it. You will. There's no such thing as right or wrong. Good or bad. And I and, and if that is what you're doing, if that's what you want to do, please don't take my um, conveying of the message in this way as judgmental. I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm just saying, like, from my point of view, that just feels real icky if you're just going after someone else um, to make your twin jealous um, for vindictive or spiteful reasons. Because number one, not only are you hurting yourself and your twin, but number two, you're hurting this other person that may genuinely just want to get to know you, may genuinely want to love you, may genuinely have some serious feelings for you. And if you're getting into a situation with them where, um, you're just dating them or being with them out of spite, you are doing a serious disservice to yourself and to them. Granted, I'm also being told that, yeah, there are many lessons in there, too, for that other person. But at the same time, like, don't go out to hurt people. That's not, that's not nice. It's not nice. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm done rambling. Let's get into the reading, okay? So we're going to start with the Divine Feminine. Um... Yes, and I'm going to do this the same way I did it last time. I'm going to use one deck for the Divine Feminine, one deck for the Divine Masculine, okay? So, Spirit. Oof. Woo! Okay, we're 20 minutes in, guys. I told you this is going to be a long reading. This is going to be a long, long video. Okay, so, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine, feminine Collective for this, oh gosh, I don't even know what the dates are. What week are we going into? <laughs> Give me a second. Um, we're doing, this is for the week of March 12th to the 18th, okay? Again, like I say all the time, these messages are timeless, all right? So just because it's for that specific week, oh, look at that. We've got temperance at the bottom of the deck. Patience, balance. Hello, okay. Um, Union, Twin Flames. There we go. Starting off on the right foot. Um, so just because these messages are coming through at this moment in time for this time frame, it doesn't mean that it's just for them. Uh, it's, it's timeless, okay? And also, this is a general reading. Um, and what I was just giving out was a general message. But um, So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Okay, here we go. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine. What messages do you have for us this week? 
week. And also, this is for the feminine energies within you. If you if you identify as the masculine energy in your twin flame situation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle for the divine feminine. Excuse me. And then we will cut the deck. Yeah. All right, Divine Feminine. Overall energy is the Three of Wands. This makes perfect sense to me. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a few messages here. One is some of you, uh, uh, okay, for the most part, a decision has been made. A decision has been made towards um, either staying, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say um, but moving forward, the other thing I wanted to say about, uh, oh no, I just lost it. Oh, about um, accepting relationships or, uh, you know, with others other than your twin. I don't necessarily believe that in doing that, you are um, stepping off the path. Like in my case, I'm not stepping off the path. I don't wish to be off the path. I want to stay on the path. I want to stay doing my work. I want to stay, um, you know, healing and being a reader for people, being a twin flame guide for people um, and doing my own work towards self-improvement because I really come to understand how valuable that all is. Like this, aside from all the craziness about this situation, man, I have grown so much and I am so grateful for it. So you damn right I want to stay on the path. I just, I'm just taking my attention away from my twin flame and giving out the love that I want to give to him to someone else that's ready to accept it right now. That's all it is. Okay. So here with the three of wands, we're being, we're speaking to the fact that yes, a choice has been made. Either you're going to stay, um, stay, you know, single and wait for your twin, or you're going to go off and get what it is you truly want and desire. Desire. So the three of wands is saying to me that right now the divine feminine is in a moment of um, figuring out how they are going to get exactly what it is that they want. And a lot, and th this card is screaming out to me that it, that is whether it's with your twin or not, period. You've got the fire, you've got the passion, you've got the know-how, you've got the gumption, and you're going for it, okay? Point blank, you're going for it. Next, we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, because independence, man, you know, stepping into your own power, being your own person, listening to yourself, choosing yourself, okay? With the four of pentacles. Um, yeah, and the ace of cups is right underneath that. Now, the four of pentacles... Please excuse the pause. I'm uh, I'm channeling a little bit here, but I'm trying to understand the message behind the Four of Pentacles because it's throwing me off a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what exactly this means. And because this is a general reading, it could mean a ton of different things. But the, the, the strongest message here is holding on to something. Yes. But what is it you're holding on to? And I'm picking up that for the most part, those, uh, for the most part, Divine Feminine, you're holding on to what it is your heart desires. Some of you are in, oh, okay. This is a message of detachment because I'm, because that's why this is throwing me off because um, some of you are still having trouble detaching from your twin. All right. And many, it, it, and for the most part, um, you feel like, again, you're feeling, you're feeling like detaching from your twin is going to be the end of everything, but the universe is saying to you, it really is not, darling, please listen to us. It's not the end. All right. You have to let go. And if that means moving on and dating someone else, do it, <laughs> do it. There's nothing wrong with it. Detachment is at hand is what I just heard. And then with that, with the Ace of Cups underneath it, brand new fulfillment and a brand new emotional start. Um, it could be a brand new love coming into your life. It could be a deeper realization of love for yourself, right? Um, but a brand new start in emotional fulfillment is at hand here. And it's facilitated through detachment is what the universe just said. Okay. All right. 
Ugh. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I forgot. I usually put four cards there. But then also, we've got the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. And you know what the universe is saying there? When you detach, your twin gets the message. Your Divine Masculine gets the message. In many cases, guys, the Divine Masculine now needs to be faced with exactly what they put their Divine Feminine through. For those, of the, for those of the Divine Masculines that have been like playing the field, have been out there with somebody else and blah, 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 and the Divine Feminine has been at home crying her eyes out because she doesn't know why he's doing this to her, myself included. <laughs> it's like she, he needs to be faced with that now. He needs to see you off with someone else having a good time living your life, being your best self without him. He needs to see that. I'm not saying all Divine Masculines need to, but there are many of them within the Divine Masculine Collective that need to see that. They need to experience it. They need to know what it feels like for themselves. They need to learn that lesson. So that's why the King of Pentacles is popping up here. He needs to see for himself is the message that just came through. And guys, please, I mean all of this with the utmost love and affection. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. Like, this is... <laughs> this is what the universe is guiding us through, okay? Just want to put that out there. So, first position is what your current surrounding energies are, Divine Feminine. You've got the Five of, Pu the five of Cups. Absolutely. All right? Um, but, yeah, there's a bunch of mourning going on. But what's happening here with this, with, with this detachment, like I said before, when you really start detaching, like, really do... A lot of the things that you that were hurting you in the past and a lot of the things that you thought you got over will come back, will come back up because they haven't really been healed fully. So that's where some of this morning energy comes in. But when I pulled that card, I heard moving on, not crying over it anymore. Like you're in this, you've been, Divine Feminine, you've been in this Five of Cups energy for the longest time. And, and I just want to say to those of you that have been on this journey for years more power to you. I don't know how you've done it. I honestly don't know how you've done it, man. I, I mean, I was activated long, uh, long before I actually connected with my twin enough to realize that there was a connection between us, but I haven't really been, uh, well, yeah, I, I've been on the journey for, for, I want to say around two years now when I think about it, when I think about like when I was activated, but, but I haven't been in, in the situation where I've been dealing directly with my twin for that long. It's only been since like June. You know what I mean? So it's like those of you that have been on this journey for years, man, I don't know how you've done it. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know, girl. I just don't know. But um, what the Five of Cups is saying here is Divine Feminine, you've been in this energy for a long time and now you're getting over it. You are not allowing yourself to cry about this anymore. You are not going to put forth all of that energy anymore to just to just be hurt again. Moving on is the message here. Getting over, getting over this Five of Cups energy is what's happening for you right now, or for many of you, Divine Feminine. Next is what you, how you see your twin, how you're viewing your twin. The Knight of Swords. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little scary, um, what I'm picking up from that one, Divine Feminine. Some of you, some of you are kind of wanting to charge into battle and fuck some shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, excuse my language. Um, but what's scary about this is some of you are really, some of you are feeling the energy that I was feeling, the vindictive and, and um, angry and just wanting to just like beat the crap out of him. Who ugh, I just saw 3333 on the counter, um, on the time counter. But you're seeing, you're looking at your twin with just anger, resentment, hate even hurt um be careful be very careful all right it's and i'm not telling you to push to like bury all those emotions please don't do that um because then they're just gonna get stronger and come back up again and then things could really get bad but um so look at them face them with intentions of releasing them but don't be reckless you're looking at your twin in kind of a reckless way right now, some of you. Um, or you're seeing your twin as reckless. 
that's not, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that, Divine Feminine, but I know from my experience, I have been pretty reckless over the last few days with my thoughts and the words I've been saying to him in my mind, telepathically and all that. And it's not fair. No, I know it's not fair. Um, but I needed to, I needed to experience it. I needed to just let all of that stuff flow so that I could release it. Now I'm at a point where it's like, okay, uh, I apologize. I realized that, you know, I was being reckless. I was being vindictive. I was being really mean and I was putting up, um, resistance where I knew, I knew it didn't need to be, but at the same time, you know, I'm not sorry, not sorry. You know, I'm not all, all the way sorry about it because it was real. It was true to who I was at that time. Like it was, it was my real true feelings. And if you can't handle that, then why are we even talking to each other? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if, if, if I can go through all of this stuff, okay, with you doing the things that you've been doing, divine masculine that have been undesirable and I can still circle back around and be like, look, you know, it's okay. We can get through this then you can do the same thing. So my moment of being reckless here with the Knight of Swords shouldn't really change anything. Did it put more resistance in the way? Did it make things a little bit harder at the time? Yeah, sure. But we can come back out of that. We're human. And if we can't deal with each other's emotions, if we can't deal with each other in this way, then we have a serious problem, <laughs> you know? And honestly... Twins flame shit aside, man, that's any relationship you have with somebody. If y'all can't deal with each other at your worst, then you probably shouldn't be connected with each other. Like, you probably shouldn't be with that person. You know what I mean? Okay, next is, um, where are you in relation to union, Divine Feminine? And you have the Three of Cups. Yeah. So, this is speaking to celebration to some extent. But what I picked up when I pulled out this card was there's, we're still dealing with this third party situation, but things are shifting now the, to where in the case where one twin, because I realized that both twins, either twin could be in a third party situation. Okay. But for the most part, it was the divine masculine that was in a third party relationship. And now the energy is shifting to where the one that was in the third party is now experiencing the, or their twin moving into a third party relationship. And the only reason I say a third party is because the twins are connected and the twins are meant to come into union. The twins are divine partners. So um, anyone else that is not your twin that you're involved with romantically, sexually, whatever, is in fact a third party. So divine feminine... Some of you, some of you are celebrating. Some of you have achieved a victory. Um, you're being social. You're going out there. You're doing things to better yourself, to enjoy yourself more. Some of you are accepting relationships with others, whether they be karmic or soulmate relationships. That is where you are in relation to union. And I don't want you to think that that's a bad thing because in reality, what this card is saying to me right now is that this is all in service of union in the future. Okay. Anything that's happening, anything you're being guide, guided to pursue or to accept or go with or whatever, anything like that is in fact, if it's the guidance is coming from your higher self, from your heart, from God, from the angels, whatever, whoever you communicate with, if that guidance is, is taking, is leading you towards whatever this is, it is in fact in service of union. Okay. Keep that in mind. Next, we have what you want your twin to know. The night of wands. So you want your twin to know that you're still very much passionate about this, about him or her. You still are. And you want your twin to know that things are moving quickly. That's what I just heard. Things are moving quickly. You, you may also want your twin to know that, um, to reassure them that whatever, if you're accepting a new relationship with someone, it's not really meant to last forever in many cases. But the other message there is that um, they need to realize that, I mean, we can only come into union if both of us are doing our work. Okay, so the message that's coming through here right now is that this won't last forever if you start doing your work. Because I've been doing my work. As the, like the, this is, I'm, I'm not speaking personally, I'm speaking as the divine feminine, like the, the, the message is channeling through me. I've been doing my work. And I, and I, I will continue to do my work, but if you can't do you, if you can't or won't do your work, divine masculine, then we can't come into union. So if you want this, if you want this to just be 
a quick thing, a quick fling, like not going to last forever, whatever. You need to step up to the plate and you need to pick up that torch yourself. You need to start being the one to make the declarations now. You need to start being the one to work towards this just like I have been. Please understand, Divine Masculine, this is still the Divine Feminine speaking. Please understand that I'm not, I don't hate you, I'm not mad at you, I get it. But I am choosing myself in this moment. I am the, I am embodying the Nine of Pentacles and saying no, putting my foot down, putting up that boundary, and doing what it is that will fulfill me. Okay? But, but, but understand that I still want to come into union with you, Divine Masculine, but you have to step up to the plate. You have to. Interesting, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands are, oof, right there next to each other. And I think what I was just saying, as I was channeling that message, that was some of the Knight of Swords energy coming through. That's where some of this, uh, some of this fight, this, warlike aspect, this warlike energy is coming from. Because many of the divine feminines are so fed up with doing this work, struggling through this, all of these intense and crazy emotions, only to have their twin ignoring everything, resisting everything. Like, no, man. No. <laughs> no. All right. Next. Um, crowning you. What is on your mind? What is your current challenge? What, uh, what are you manifesting in some cases? We have... <laughs> I mean, if you can see that, if you... I haven't said what the card is yet, so if you're just listening, don't worry, I'll tell you. But if you're watching this right now, y'all, we just had that moment where we saw that card and said, yup. It's the Queen of Swords, everyone. So yes, that message that I was just channeling from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine is absolutely the Queen of Swords speaking right now. The Queen of Swords ain't about the drama. As soon as she sees that someone ain't acting right, she cuts that shit out. I have nothing else to say there, because <laughs> I said it already. But do you, do you get it? This is who we are right now as a divine feminines. In most cases, if you're in separation and you're dealing with someone that you, and your twin is, isn't doing the work, that is who we are. And to be quite honest, the divine feminine has been embodying the queen of swords energy for a very long time. Okay. But it has taken us a while to get to the point where we are, we're, we're comfortable enough within ourselves to say no to our twins now, to put that barrier, uh, um, yeah, it is a barrier. I don't like using that word because I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, it, it will never be brought down, but it's not, it's more of a boundary than a real barrier. Like, I'm not trying to block him out. I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be trying to sever, really, really sever the connection. It's just making a choice to honor yourself and love yourself enough to know when you're in an unhealthy relationship with someone, regardless of who they are to you. Regardless, they're your, your twin flame, your mother or father, your brother or sister, your cousins, aunts, uncles, your best friend that you've been friends with since you two were five years old. If it is a toxic relationship, then you need to love and respect yourself enough to say no. And that is who the Queen of Swords is. Finally, um, in the hidden position, what you may not be aware of, underlying energies, we have, woo, the Two of Swords. Okay, what's going on here? Um, this, is, this is the underlying energy. And actually, this is speaking to those of you who are still struggling with um, moving on. Um, you feel trapped. You feel trapped in this situation, in this twin flame situation. It's like you're being told by um, all all these people that are helping to guide us through this. You're being told that, you know, you need to face your twin with unconditional love and blah, blah, blah. But then like your twin is acting, it is not acting right. So you're like, but, but this is not making me happy and I'm, I'm, it's hurting me, but I still have to, I, 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 you feel trapped. You feel trapped. And I know I felt like that too. And I know my twin felt like that um, 
Maybe he still does feel like that. But in my case, I feel trapped because of that very thing. It's like I have, I'm being told I have to, I'm being required to unconditionally love this person, but this person is not unconditionally loving me back. And so I felt like I was in a, in between a rock and a hard place. It's like, well, I can't walk away from him because 44, 44 on the counter. I can't walk away from him because, you know, he's my twin and we want to come into union, but I'm, I'm being hurt here. So why shouldn't I walk away from him? Why not? You're not trapped, Divine Feminine. You're not. You have the right to walk away. And, and, and my intuition is drawing me to the Ace of Cups. You have the right to walk away and receive Receive the love that you desire, the love that you've been putting out. You have that right. And the, the divine God, whoever, will never tell you you are wrong for that. Never. Whew. Okay, well, that's the message for the Divine Feminine this week. Mm. Let's get to the Divine Masculine. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I promise, I promise. I don't think this is going to... Ooh, sorry. I don't think this is going to be that bad, to be honest. I am going to use a different deck. I just like to, you know, shuffle these up a little bit before I move on. Um, give me just a second. One more. Okay. Just want to clear the energies out. You know what? I don't need to do that right now. Let's just get to the Divine Masculine. Because we're already 46 minutes <laughs> into this video. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine Collective at this moment. What are the best messages for the Divine Masculine right now? Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much, Divine Masculine. Hey guys, we love you, Divine Masculine. Please don't let um, my personal emotions, my drama, my um, whatever, my personal story make you feel like we don't still love you guys. We do. And we know this is hard. This is... In many cases, this is probably harder for you than it is for the Divine Feminine, all right? We get it. We get it. All right. Divine Masculine. I'm going to give you guys one more shuffle. Okay, let's cut the deck. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles. All right, I'm going to reshuffle. But the Ace of Pentacles wanted to pop out here. A brand new start in the material realm. This is the fresh start that you've been asking for, Divine Masculine. And it's coming in the form of detachment. What? What do you mean? What? How is that? Listen. This is happening so that you can have the space and your Divine Feminine can have the space to really heal. Okay, it, I know it looks bleak, but she's not talking to me. She's walking away from me. She's, she's dating someone else now, but I just heard it's all in service of union. Okay, you are being given the fresh start that you asked for because now, like, look, 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 look at it this way, Divine Masculine. If your Divine Feminine starts dating someone else, right? Now, you two have the opportunity to rebuild a friendship without the romance in the way because the romance is being experienced with somebody else. So now you two can like really work on rebuilding your relationship, really work on becoming friends again, right? Ace of Pentacles, brand new start. All right, Divine Masculine. Let's get into this. Oh, 
Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. I really like to see that. Because now it means you're doing your work. You are learning something new. You are really learning, actually. You're really learning something new. And what is that? The art of spirituality. And I do call it an art. Because spirituality is not something that is just one thing for all people. There are as many forms and as many paths to walk on the spiritual journey as there are individuals on this planet. So you're learning something new. And you're, you're building to make yourself better. To come into union is what I just heard. I love that. You know I do. <laughs> we also have, ooh, the Four of Cups, the Five of Wands, and look at that, the Knight of Swords. Oh, the Knight of Swords, and finally, the Three of Wands. Lord have mercy, the mirroring, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... The Four of Cups here is talking about um, you coming to the realization of what you passed up on, okay? It could even be um, you now trying to reach out to your twin and not hearing back from her or him, okay? Um, the Five of Wands and the Knight of Swords are talking about all of the conflicting energies, all of the, the conflicting thoughts and emotions that are going through you right now, um, the, the chaos that you've been experiencing for so long, Divine Masculine, you have been in this chaotic energy for so long. Um, and the Knight of Swords is talking about you wanting to just rush back in, just charge back towards your twin and just like fix things and heal things. And you, eat. I'm also picking up that some of you want are experiencing a lot of the energies that the Divine Feminine have been experiencing, but you're in that, you know, wanting to ride in and, and just like cut everybody up. But I'm seeing this for you, Divine Masculine. This is you wanting to do that towards the other people in your life that have been holding you back. That's not advisable, <laughs> okay? I would not advise that. So um, just be careful. Just be careful with that energy because I'm really seeing that the Five of Wands here is really generating the Knight of Swords energy with you. You're getting really frustrated with it. You're getting really reckless sur uh, uh, around surrounding your thoughts around it. Um, really, just be careful. But the Three of Wands, I'm picking up the same thing the Divine Feminine had. You made your choice. You made your choice. And now you are planning on how to get to it. Now you're taking the action towards getting to it. And that is resonating with the Eight of Pentacles. In some cases, you are realizing the choice that you made in the past surrounding the Four of Cups. And you're looking, you're kind of, I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of Seven of Pentacles energy with this Three of Wands in that you're, you're assessing, you're, you're, you're taking stock. You're like, damn, how did I get here? And how do I get back is the word. That was what I heard afterwards. So that's why it's coming up as the Three of Wands. How did I get here? And how do I get back? Hmm. Okay. Moving forward. We have in your first position is where uh, your current surrounding energies. Aw, the sun. Illumination is really what's coming through here. Everything's going to be okay uh, also, but illumination. Seeing things for what how they really are, what they truly are. In many cases, seeing this connection with your twin for what it really is. Because many of you have been ignoring it for a long time. But now you're seeing it for what it truly is. You're coming to terms with it. And there are a lot of painful truths around it because you're starting to understand who this person really is to you in your twin flame. And, and you're like, damn, did I really do all that? Yeah, you did. But it's okay. Because we're all learning here. And all of it is in service of us becoming better people. Again, there is no right or wrong, Divine Masculine. There really isn't. It's all just a lesson, a process. You have to go through certain things. You have to experience certain things. You have to act in certain ways even sometimes before you can really get the lesson. So do it. Everything will be okay with the sun. 
Everything will be okay. Next, we have how you see your twin. The world. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, this is a strong message here. Completion is what I heard. Um, and what I'm picking up on is a lot of you are looking at your twin and seeing how very done they are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny in the sense, it's funny in the sense that it, it is kind of comical. Um, you're, you're looking at, at your twin, your divine feminine, like, oh, they are really done, aren't they? Yeah, we are. But we're not done with you as a person. We're done with who you are right now. We are done validating that in you. Because to be quite honest, Divine Feminine, the more you played into that, that role that the Divine Masculine was playing, in, in, especially in these cases where they've been really toxic, you were, in fact, validating that in, the, in them, which was only helping them to keep on going with it. But now that you're turning away from it, Divine Feminine, now that you are saying, no, we're done for good with this aspect of you, the divine masculine is getting it. They're seeing it, which is then influencing the sun for them. This is why the sun is surrounding them. This is why the sun is surrounding you, divine masculine, because you see just how done they are and just how done they are is illuminating what has been toxic here because it's not being validated anymore. You see? Everything's gonna be okay, guys. <laughs> All right, next we have, where are you in relation to union, divine masculine? And it is, ooh, the nine of swords. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, y you're losing sleep over it. You are really fucking stressed out, excuse my language, but you're really stressed out about it. You're really stressed out about it. How do I get her, him back? Mm. A lot of you are crying about it. I, I'm picking up on that because now I'm, I feel like I want to cry now. You're feeling so much remorse. No, babe, it's okay. Please don't beat yourselves up about this. Please understand. Please, please, please. Please have the compassion towards yourself to understand that you are not a bad person. You're not. But what has been going on lately, the, 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 the way you've been showing up in the Divine Feminine's life is a product of childhood trauma, is a product of um, societal conditioning, familial conditioning. I mean, conditioning, just conditioning as a whole. It doesn't make you a bad person, okay? But it's your choice to do with it what you will. Like, now that the sun is shining, it is your choice to make the changes. Will you continue to be that toxic asshole? Again, excuse my language. Or will you turn that ship, S-H-I-P, will you turn it around? And will you go in a different direction now? That's what you're being faced with. So this Nine of Swords energy... Let that go, because you're not a bad person, okay? But again, it is your choice. Next, we have what you want your twin to know. The hermit, yep, 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 yep. Now look, Divine Masculine, you've got three major arcana here. And the hermit is saying that, yeah, okay. The sun has illuminated, illuminated a lot of things for me. And so now I have to go within and figure it all out. I have to go within now and find my own inner light. The Divine Masculine, in many cases, I just picked up on the fact that the Divine Masculine is still dealing with a lot of codependency issues as well. So that's what the Hermit is, this other message that's in the Hermit is like going within to find his or her light. Instead of following the light of others, instead of following the guidance of others, they now need to go within and find their own light. They may have, they actually, they have been in this energy for a long time. It's been an extreme struggle, but they've been in it. And they're working on, they're, the Divine Masculine is saying, I hear you, I hear you, babe, and I'm looking for the light within me now. I'm trying to find it. I'm desperately trying to find it. 
because I don't want to hurt you anymore. I don't want to hurt myself anymore, says the Divine Masculine. Yeah. Fifth position. What are, what are your current challenges? What are you manifesting? You know, what are you facing? We have... Wow. Judgment. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? You're hearing the call now. You're not ignoring it anymore. You can't. There's absolutely no way you can ignore this calling anymore. So much major arcana. Look at this, y'all. The sun, the hermit, the world, judgment. Major changes, major shifts are happening. But your current challenge, Divine Masculine, absolutely is accepting and hearing this call. I mean, it's challenging enough for you just to hear the call, just to listen to it is what I'm picking up on, let alone taking any action. But the fact that you're finally starting to listen is a huge step, says the universe. Good on you. We're proud of you. Keep listening, please. Finally, in your sixth position, what uh, is hidden from you, what you may not be aware of, or what the underlying driving force is. <sighs> I'm freaking out, guys. The Ace of Cups. More mirroring. Lord of G, look at that. What's driving you, Divine Masculine? Love. <laughs> Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Channeled message from the Divine Masculine. We realize what we did to you was wrong. We are so sorry for it. We have every intention of changing our ways. Love the Divine Masculine. Did you get that, Divine Feminine? You might want to run that back a little bit and listen to it again. There it is, guys. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to pull any more Oracle Guidance or anything like that because we got that, actually, in the beginning of the video, didn't we? Well, 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 we sure did. <laughs> okay, guys. I love you all. I hope this was helpful. Um... Yeah. Stay strong. We're going to do this, okay? I promise. We're going to do it. Take care, guys. Bye.